Yo, what's up everyone? My name is Imbrodar and welcome to Soda Sandals 3 Solo Ultratus. This is the full version and I'm going to show you my characters that I have been able to get to be able to get the best of the best of each attribute it would take you a very long time to do so so I'm not going to I'm not going to try to do that and uh, I'm probably maybe do a uh, a playthrough where I beat all the arena boss fights without using the gold glitch which I will show you soon so I have here master of all health master of all power master of all magic master of all speed and master of all charisma let's start with the health one and uh, all and my level is 75 now you can go higher than 75 if you want but there's not really any reason to if you go higher then the arena fights gets more higher uh, and more harder and uh, since all the armors and weapon levels stop at 75 so there's no real reason to keep going forward uh, by leveling you can get the skill tree upgrades if you want but that doesn't make you any stronger in my opinion and the gold glitch works almost in same as the same uh, like the uh, in the beta version you just go to any shop like the magic shop because they don't require any levels to do anything to buy all, any of this so you just buy something you buy, you can afford go to your inventory and buy it and that cost will be added to your uh, gold amount like this one will be added there and you I would recommend using these gear ones because you don't really going to use them at all in your play runs but if you wish to then you can probably use something else on like in here because you're not going to use almost not all of them in my opinion the gear ones are the ones that you get used to to do it so you start with this then you move on this and this and this and this and then you move on to this one and you just repeat using this as many times as you want and don't f uh, this this discount thing is just that uh, if you have skill uh, three levels then you get discount but uh, I'd say you won't be able to get this anytime soon so don't worry about that and don't worry about any of the intellect requirements or any of this nonsense so uh, uh, let's take a look what we have here now uh, for uh, since I am building a vitality build uh, all the armors and weapons is gonna have mostly vitality or health or something on the line now every when whenever you uh, go higher with levels the armors and weapons quality and their uh, names changes a little bit they're going to have a one name in the front and one at the very end like example this is a good example enduring night helm of perpetuity it has plus 9 vitality and plus 9 vitality now both of which has plus 9 uh, skill for example this uh, item itself is night helm but if it has enduring night helm as a name then it has plus 9 vitality only or night helm of per to perpetuity which is also again plus nine vitality. Now, uh, since you can combo those together, you can uh, get something like this. However, the only exception where more combos can be done is 
in the intellect build that there is more possibilities to get something like this similarities but for every other uh, attribute there is smaller chances to this happening uh, and you will see few selections where comboing is very difficult and uh, getting 10-10 is the biggest combo you can have and yeah getting those is extremely difficult because in uh, any other attribute except intellect there's only two combos you can do so yeah like in here this uh, can happen very much and uh, this one is very good although it's an artifact weapon but itself it's not something that i would recommend to actually equip in because magicka itself only increases the amount of how much you can use and the intellect itself increases how much you can use and it's the damage how much you deal the health is pretty self-explanatory and the vitality it does the same thing but it's very I'm not entirely sure which one does more I think vitality does it a little bit better so and it also does the recognition a little bit but not like crazy lot and then we have a, another legend uh, legendary item so let's take a look at the uh, inventory uh, character items now I couldn't be able to find like even combos enough for all my characters because it's very difficult and it's very time consuming so yeah this one is called the angel wings of plotting speed it has plus 50 walking speed and vitality now the plotting speed is for walking speed obviously and angel is for vitality everlasting retarius helmet of strong two strong hearts it has plus 10 vitality plus 100 health and plus 4 vitality now the everlasting is one of the plus 10 names you can have if you're trying to go for a plus 10 vitality enduring imperium breastplate of fortitude plus 9 vitality plus 8 vitality everlasting chainmail shoulder guards of the undying plus vital plus 10 vitality plus 20 health recognition and plus 2 vitality the undying is the recognition and vital plus 2 one then we have Ocher knight gauntlets of immortality plus 1 dodge mastery plus 2 agility plus 10 vitality the immortality is the other piece so if i would want the best the 10 plus plus 10 plus 10 uh, equip item it would have to read everlasting something of immortality so yeah and that happening is ridiculously difficult so yeah because there's other names get, that can happen between there are so many other combos so I'm not gonna try to uh, do full set of plus 10 plus 10 Comet Chainmail Pants of Perpetuity plus 40 walking speed plus 4 vitality plus 9 vitality Imperium Boots of Immortality plus 10 vitality Everlasting Shashmir of the Wolf plus 10 vitality plus 40 to health the wolf one is the health one of course sentinel's cleaver of the whale plus 8 vitality plus 80 to health and plus 8 to vitality the whale one is the 80 health and 2 vitality now with all that the maximum health i have is 2602 all all the upgrade points have been put in vitality a few in agility because there was a uh, few pieces 
Damage is quite bad. Armor 3788. And I regenerate 83 HP per round. Uh, this build itself is quite awful because it doesn't really do much except survive. But even with that, it's kind of wonky in my personal opinion. So let's take a look at the uh, power one, the strength one. Also, I forgot to, uh, let's go back. I forgot to show you the uh, skill tree. And also, the best way to win and to level up is to beat the final arena boss as many times as you because uh, <coughs> you can fight it as many times as you want and you uh, every time you win you get a level and uh, the fastest way to do it is well I'm gonna show you so uh, we have here dodge mastery elemental resistance this increases your total HP this is more for armor this increases your height and weight which entitles to your health a little bit nothing in there a few in there just to lower the cost for uh, shopping items and getting a better items in the shop doesn't make the game any better uh, easier and here uh, just put randomly these are just random maybe glitched also and this one is the one that makes the uh, uh, arena fights like super super easy to basically you have to have few points in here to create a whirlwind attack whenever you are using a power attack and every time you do it you have a chance to whirlwind and if you do the whirlwind even if they have armor or have health left they will die instantly and you win and uh, yeah that uh, I will show you with uh, with a uh, with the speed build uh, how ridiculous it is So this is the strength build. So we have unholy demon wings of the giant plus nine strength, titan call plus ten strength, titan uh, knight shoulder guards plus ten strength, titan knight <laughs> knight gauntlets plus ten strength, legion breastplate of the giant plus nine strength, titan knight gravers plus ten strength, titan knight boots of the mighty hero. Plus 10 strength, plus 1 armor, 2 plus charisma, and plus 8 strength. The mighty hero is the three last ones. Lazarus Catalyst of Crushing, uh, plus 1 armor, hurry, plus 2 charisma, plus 8 strength, plus 2 handed, two -handed uh, weapon mastery, and plus 4 strength. So this is a little bit uh, wonky one. But uh, it's there. Longsword of the Colossus plus 10 strength. So if I would want, if you want to get plus 10 plus 10 for strength build, it would have to be Titan of of uh, Colossus, Titan uh, and something of Colossus. So of the Colossus. So yeah. And here we have uh, our strength is here 154. All based in there. Uh, charisma, something in there. Not really anything crazy. Average damage is there. Nothing too crazy. Uh, armor 2093. And nothing impressive in here, to be honest. And uh, a pretty. Uh, uh, equal uh, percentage of win and losses because strength itself is quite awful to my opinion it does uh, good damage uh, like raw but uh, the longer you go on 
the more armor and the health these guys are gonna have. So let's just see if I can actually do something like there, 528 with critical hit. That is good to have because it pierces through armor, but it has a, a significant like a uh, negativity because it can push if it doesn't kill it can push the enemy a away from you so uh, it, it's very annoying that can happen a lot of times so this is the speed build and this one was very lacking a uh, very good find because it's not the best because if this would be artifact weapon then this damage would be double it will be 1200 to 2400 uh, damage and it could be something but it has to be artifact item so yeah and the one thing about the uh, agility ones that the the skill points are a little bit crazy but uh, you you will see soon so here cyclonic cloud trial of Gaia plus two warwind plus four agility plus two robust constitution plus four charisma and there we can see wizards praxis helm of pathfinding plus one snc plus two agility plus 60 to agility plus three to walking speed now those like plus 60 things can only happen with agility for no one else that can't happen it doesn't really make the agility build any broken but if you're just trying to find uh, points for agility then that's your way Imperium breastplate of eluding plus 20 to dodge plus 4 agility everlasting shirt sleeve of wandering plus 10 vitality plus 20 to agility plus 1 walking speed be doing Myrmidon Tight Guards plus 20 agility plus 1 walking speed Archmage's Cloth Wraps of Spell yeah plus plus 4 SNC and plus 8 agility Athletes Flanked Maze of Pace plus 2 Archibatic plus 4 agility plus 20 walking speed plus 2 vitality Belgrave's Maze of Velocity plus 20 agility uh, dodge plus 4 agility plus 4 walking speed and plus 4 vitality and with that we have 202 agility a lot of vitality points also in from the armors and whatnot 5 charisma terrible damage armor 3120 and here we can see our movement speed is 13 feet per round dodge chance is 110 percent and cliff fall chance yeah but that's uh, based on your height and yeah all that oh yeah I forgot to show you the strength one I'll show you that too in the this one is glitched one but you can see another whirlwind nothing in there nothing in there a lot of there 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 so yeah uh, the agility one was actually surprisingly easy because you can open the fights a lot faster like that but the damage itself is bad but the more agility you have the better chance you have to doing uh, you, you know hitting basically and doing uh, the whirlwind if this guy would do it even if he pushes him away I will still be able to catch him relatively easily and the, uh, like I said, it, 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 the pushing can happen uh, very frequently. So it's very annoying uh, if that does happen. But if this guy would actually do the whirlwind, that would be great. There we go. You can see that he had armor and health left. It doesn't matter. 
the whirlwind will just completely annihilate him. And I will show you quickly what this guy was in the skill tree. Nothing crazy here. A lot of there, 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 that. Not uh, something in there just to make the spells. I will. Uh, the bubble work a little bit, but nothing crazy. Uh, glitched one, uh, that, 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 and that's probably glitched also. So yeah, let's move on to the charisma one. The charisma one is actually also something that was relatively easy, but uh, the more longer, uh, the more uh, longer I took it, uh, the harder it got. So yeah. And here is another plus 10 plus 10, but again, that is difficult, you know. And there is another, and yeah. Actor Scott, 12 plus 6 charisma. Edgehead Nemesis of the Owl, plus 5 charisma, plus 7 charisma. Cloth Shirt of Enigmas, plus 9 charisma. Leather Shoulder Guards of the Prophet, plus 10 charisma. Hypnotic letter cards of the orator plus eight charisma plus three charisma Hypnotic Imperium boots of Blarney plus eight charisma plus five charisma Bright broadsword of the owl plus seven charisma plus seven charisma and dazzling towers shield of the owl plus nine charisma plus seven charisma Now the prophet was in the back and I and iconic is in the front, so if it would be ten plus ten plus ten, so it'd be iconic of iconic something of the uh, prophet. And there we can see charisma one hundred sixty-six all points, no extra terrible damage armor one thousand two hundred and one <laughs> lowest of them all currently, and there don't attack three hundred thirty. 8% to 333, uh, 303 resistance. A good amount of fights, but like I said, the longer uh, I took this, the harder it, uh, harder it got. So there we go. Here and here, there, something in there, nothing in there. For tongue, for tongue attacks, this one, uh, this one for a tongue resistance and serenity increases. And this one also increases your tons attacks and it also increases your resistances for it. Just add it to that, that, and that. Nothing, uh, these weren't really meant for anything. It's just to make the final boss a little bit faster, you know. You can put any in any of these three, in my opinion. Even for this, if you want to. But I usually put here, put here because the swords are my favorite. So, uh, taunting in this game is very broken because it can just uh, go straight through the armor, it doesn't care. But uh, the longer I took this, the harder it gets. So, uh, that's that. Now, the last one uh, we have. Jack of all magic, my greatest achievement, and for a very good reason. Now the intellect one is special because there's actually two more words in the front, and two uh, like two names in the front and two names at the back. If you wish to get the plus ten plus ten uh, armor or weapon. So there is the Omniscient, uh, uh, Warpole, then the, in the back, uh, we'll probably find out here, like near Genius, then, then there's the Incredible, Incredible Haste, which we'll you see soon. So here, Deceptive Silk Cloak of Genius, plus 8 Intellect, plus 10 Intellect. Warpole Barret of the Cheetah, 
plus 10 intellect, plus 6 intellect, radiant blade meat, shoulder cards of knowledge, plus 9 intellect, plus 6 intellect, mercurial blade mail, west of incredible haste, plus 9 intellect, plus 10 intellect, omniside murmured on bracers of all country, plus 10 intellect, plus 9 intellect, mercurial cough wraps of the Makakui, plus 9 intellect, plus 5 intellect, Warpal Wakisaki of Wizardry, plus 10 intellect, and plus 9 intellect, Radiant Club of Incredible Haste, plus 9 intellect, and plus 10 intellect, and my uh, ties, as you can see, Warpal Myrmidon Tide Cards of Genius, plus 10 and plus 10. Now, like I said, there are another set of name that you can combo with with another one. So this occurrence for intellect is way easier because you get a hundred percent more chance to, you know, get another one behind it. So it's not like the strength, the vitality, or charisma. That's why intellect is much more easier to build. And the other one, uh, the other lower versions, like the 9, 8, and 7, uh, 9, 8, and so on, they have also more selections than the intellect. The intellect has more selections than the other ones. That's what I meant to say. And with that, we have. 4,614 MP, 215 in here, nothing else anywhere. You didn't see any extras, any of part of my uh, character. Uh, this one, <laughs> very bad, 1,568 armor. And there we can regenerate 589 MPs per round. A lot of battles and a lot of wins. Because the MP itself is very strong, but uh, this is also like the uh, the uh, charisma. Because the further you take it, the harder it gets. So uh, just something in there that a little bit of that probably a glitch, but I don't know. I'm not really entirely sure. Uh, a little bit of that, nothing in there. This one, yeah, I didn't put anything in there. That's because uh, the final boss has massive, massive, massive of electric resistance. So this one, uh, it's not really worth to go for because a lot of other bosses have also a lot of like electric resistance, lightning resistance most likely. But so anyway. Uh, a little bit of there, and then that, that's of course, and uh, nothing else in here, no glit uh, glitches, because I don't know how that work, uh, how the uh, skill tree glitch works, I just don't know, it just happens randomly, uh, a little bit spells here and there, I don't use any necromancy or poison, because they don't have v6 versions but the overall damage is pretty nice 2580 and pretty 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 strong even uh, at this uh, even longer fights like that one wasn't able to defeat him but it still took a lot of health away even with resistance a little bit on but yeah, uh, that's that. So yeah, I, I'm not gonna go for a full 10 set for everything. That's just insanity because there's so many combos in these uh, shops that you can uh, find because these two shops are useless for me because I'm doing two wielded uh, weaponries only. So uh, yeah, but you can find anything in, in here if, if you're lucky. So yeah, that was uh, my characters. And uh, 
I'll think about of doing the uh, gameplay to fight all the bosses without using the gold glitch. So uh, stay tuned for more. Stay awesome and peace out.